be welcomed with enthusiasm, Kansas City Chiefs fan. Today, I bring forth an extraordinary sense of excitement to share about the journey of the exceptional player, Chris Jones. Don't cease to display your unconditional support. Remember to give a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and enable notifications to receive the latest updates firsthand. And now, what do we have here? Further insights into Chris Jones. What a joy. Listen. I understand that we've all encountered numerous discussions about the all-pro defensive star of the Chiefs. With Jones now entertaining the possibility of missing games, I can envision the stir among the fans. However, allow me to share my perspective. I believe the likelihood of such a scenario coming to fruition is indeed quite low. For every game that Jones is absent, he'd be losing around $1.1 million. This doesn't seem like a favorable choice for someone eyeing a substantial long-term contract. Had the Chiefs intended to negotiate with Jones, that move would have occurred before the commencement of free agency and the draft. At this juncture, I deem it a discarded option. A viable backup plan simply isn't in place. Ultimately, it's crucial to remember that Jones is firmly under contract for this year. As long as he remains with the team, the prospects of Kansas City raising the Super Bowl champions trophy again are substantial. In today's NFL, the significance of possessing an outstanding pass rusher can never be underestimated. Nevertheless, the situation is taking on a new dimension. With Jones potentially absent and the recent suspension of Charles Omenihu for the first six games, I can argue with greater emphasis that the recruitment of a substitute has become an urgent necessity for the Chiefs. A shining name is Carlos Dunlap, a crucial figure in solidifying the defensive line during the previous season. Although he plans to play in 2023, he's still available on the market. After securing his first Super Bowl victory with the team, it would be logical to assume that Kansas City would be at the top of Dunlap's preference list. Moreover, considering he missed the entire training camp and preseason, returning to a system he's deeply familiar with could provide an undeniable advantage. My personal bet? I see a return of Dunlap to the city of Kansas City is quite plausible. Now, touching on trajectories, Wilson amassed 218 receptions for 2,449 yards and 12 touchdowns over his seven-year career. If Moore's journey were to conclude at this point, it would undoubtedly be a disappointing situation. However, it's worth steering clear of such direct comparisons. It's essential to consider that Wilson wasn't drafted, whereas Moore secured a position in the second round of the NFL draft. Furthermore, Moore possesses a skill set that positions him as a key asset for Kansas City's offense, including a quick release, route running finesse, and reliable hands. Certainly, some concerns have arisen, especially because Moore has maintained a quieter profile during this preseason. Yet, what if I were to share with you that Coach Andy Reid and offensive coordinator Matt Nagy have plans to spotlight him in the games that truly matter? If I had the odds at hand, I would certainly be inclined to invest in this possibility. Now, I would greatly appreciate hearing your opinions in the comments. Let's strengthen this discussion. And don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and enable notifications as I'll bring fresh updates about the Kansas City Chiefs every day.